Are you well? I'm very well, mate. You know, yeah. Uh, excited just to be keep on keeping on rocking at the minute and these more new music. tunes. You know? More music. It came out last night. John Kennedy gave his first play last night. Mm-hmm. Absolutely huge. It's all about the summer, isn't it? Now, mm-hmm. could you explain the story behind me? Because I think there's a bit more of a meaning behind. Yeah, that, it's quite. There? Um, I guess it's quite a deep song, really. You know, it's like um, it was written a couple of months ago, and it's about you know being. It's about a relationship being like you know stuck stuck in that that can get sort of a relationship that can kind of get confusing and um and sort of toxic and you're just sort of talking about that about like what the summertime can sort of help your mind escape that feeling yeah so the optimistic side yeah the the magic of the summertime Mm -hmm. which is something that i like yeah it's like i do maybe I, i do quite this is probably uh i do write a lot of songs like that this but i feel like that's where i'm at my best yeah you know yeah Mm. I mean, does that, is that where you find a lot of the inspiration from? Because, you know, I see a lot, Miles, right? And you always strike me as a happy person. So I can't imagine those moments in your life. Is that because you're good at just keeping that private? Or is no, it I'm, I'm a very a happy open guy? person, you know. And yeah. uh, um, I don't, I guess I just sort of tend to lean towards those sort of, uh, the, 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 those kind of melancholy, Connolly, Connolly yep. those Brian Billy Connolly, Connolly. Connolly <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> Uh, a, a bit more, you know. It's like um, I've said it before. I've said this before as well, not to repeat myself, but it's like uh, you know, Roy Orbison, like would always write quite sad songs and stuff. Yeah. But he was very happy in that. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just about those whatever you go through those moments. I just like to to talk about it in, in yeah. tunes. Really, you're like the opposite of a comedian who's happy and funny on stage and leaves and isn't happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you find creativity yeah. in it. So it's, it's a really summery vibe as well. And I think. You know, we're at that point of the year where it's about to get dark. Uh, well, we've just got it. We've crowbarred it into the end of the summer. <laughs> Perfect, though. Yeah. We need that. Just to send us into the winter with a smile on our yeah, face. Yeah, that, that, that was the idea. Is man. that part of the thinking for it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because I've, I've been watching the video, right? Or little clips of the video. Yeah. And it's you on a lilo. In good shape, you annoying man, you. <laughs> Can't wait to the moment when you finally really hit the laggers and put on some timber. But you're, you're like you're having a great time. Was that an IB thing? Yeah, so we went there. It was, it, it's all been like, the turnaround's been pretty quick because yeah. the song was only written um, a couple of months ago. You know, we've just been churning them out. It was a bit like with that Can You See Me Now as well, the one we had before. Um, it's just We've just been in this sort of natural flow. Yeah. And... Um, we did, yeah, we went to, we did the video with Charlie Lightning that you yeah, know. Yeah, no Charlie, yeah. yeah. And uh, me and him and, and my friend James, we went over and he helped us. And um, you each had three days over there. Yeah. And we didn't really have a plan. And there was no management, there was no team. It's a gamble. So it was just us, you know. Yeah. And uh, it, we, we just we just sort of went with it. And then we got a lot of stuff so charlie's in the edit now but it's just a it's the perfect it'll be the perfect video for that song you know like the the perfect backdrop and capturing the 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 right amount of humor Imagine. as well with you know being serious as well i guess miles diving onto a lilo and a pair of tiny shorts exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> listen could the guy doesn't seem like that long ago to me but is there a new album on the way e, i am currently working on one yeah yeah so um, I'm going back in the studio in the next sort of couple of weeks and uh, there's a couple more songs that um, are pretty much there that we're going to go and finish off really sort of production wise yes. um, but in terms of writing and that there's there's it's it's uh, there's a lot of songs there it's just sort yeah. of fine tuning it I'd say that the summer this summertime would be like the this will be on the next record. Mm-hmm. I think Can You See Me Now was a bit of a bridge gap mm-hmm. from Coup de Gras that could have sat on that, the, uh, you know, to then then on the next one. But I think Summertime, will, this will be like the, the first tune off that. And hopefully, man, I can... I mean, my plan A is to record the album by Christmas. Right. That's plan A. And this plan A has been... We've hit every target so far this year. Plan A, we had Plan A in January. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. and uh, and we're we're still we're still sticking to it. So if I can, if we can stick to that, I'll be happy, man. Is there a plan B and a Plan C? Huh? Is there a Plan B and a Plan C? Plan B is like uh, I don't know. I'm sticking on Plan A, man. I yeah. really want to like tick these goals. You know yeah. what it's like. You know, That's good yeah. To plan hear. B. Uh, 
breakdown, plan C. <laughs> yeah, God knows what plan C is. Yeah. I met Jamie, who you're you're writing with at the moment, just the other night, and it was a really, really special gig you played. Oh, that was, was uh, your up thing? Up, yeah, yeah. Nabuka, okay, this feeling. And it was acoustic, four songs. I enjoyed doing that. And that, brilliant. That's who I've been doing all my tunes with. Yeah. And, uh, and he's a great writer and producer. And we've got a great little vibe going, me yeah. and him. And uh, I really enjoyed just that and him on the keys and me on the acoustic. You know, that was... Um, yeah, there was something quite like... I quite like... Well, it's when we were doing the rehearsal bit, it felt quite loungy. But then once I got up there, it sort of the lounginess sort of went away. But there's something there's something in that setup that I'd quite like to explore. That's what I was going to say. At some point um, down the line as well. Yeah, because it did occur to me. I thought this could be... A pretty good tour if you did something with that because it's happened quite a lot recently. Liam Frey did a bit. Well, Liam, do, he Ke- does Kelly that Jones a lot. has done it and as I well. And I thought yeah. that, and I thought I've never really, I've done little acoustic things, you know, like radio and yeah. the odd little thing, but I haven't ever done, you know, something that you could do a little setup like that, and it almost would be in a sort of uh, a loungy way, a bit of a Ronnie Scott's way. It'd be quite yeah. cool to do something like that uh, as a little tour. So that's. Uh, that can go into plan A box <laughs> as well. So there was some turnout for it as well. A lot of folks showed up to come and see you, yeah, which man. is an encouraging you know, thing, isn't it? It, it was yeah, fair play. I enjoyed that. Because we're yeah. looking forward to Neighbourhood Festival, obviously, October, headlining that mm-hmm. in Manchester, which will be brilliant. And Will you be going up to I that? I want to make a go at my house. I yeah. really want to do it. It's just whether I can... Can you speak to my missus about it? Yeah, I'll give her Thank a bell. That, I'll give her help. a bell later. But yeah, there's some special gigs on there as well. Liquid Rooms, I think you've got lined up in a few yeah, others. Yeah, we've got this, this little tour. It was like we... Um, yeah, we decided this is like, again, it's sort of, I didn't really want to, <clears throat> in the midst of ending, say, the coup de grace cycle yeah. and going into, say, a new record or just keep churning out new songs, I didn't really want to have like that. I felt in such a good flow creatively and, you know, playing that I didn't really want to sort of stop. Stop, yeah, lose so, the momentum. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, like just sort of to keep for, um, painting on the canvas, really, yeah. you know? So we announced yeah. this little tour, which should be a little vibe and... Uh, you know, set us up for next year, really. And to be business like, tickets are on sale Friday morning, nine o'clock. Tickets are on sale. Yes. There you go. There we go. I was just going to repeat you. We're then. good at this, no man. Need, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nine o'clock Friday. And listen, you've got a proper following, so there'll be people fighting for those tickets. Nine o'clock Friday morning. Nice go show. and see Miles. He's absolutely brilliant. Miles, I've got a very quick question for you. Mm-hmm. If you could be in any other band at the moment, which one would it be? And if you could substitute anybody from another band into yours, who would you Ooh. have in your band? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's a lovely sorry, noise. listeners. That was a, I did a weird uh, secret whistle yeah. down the mic. Um, oh, my favourite new band is a, a band called Buzzard, Buzzard, Buzzard. Yes, I don't know if you've heard yeah, of I them. Have, yeah, I think John Kennedy's played them a couple. They're of times. Um, Amer- are they Scouse? Are they Amer- no, no Wales. Welsh. Wales. Yeah, Welsh. Yeah. Um, they are like I, I'm really into them. I think I'm really into the front man. I think he's like a star. And they, they've got great songs, yeah. very up my alley, you know what I mean? We, you yeah. can see we, we're in the same sort of, we've got the same tastes. So what was it, if my, would I so join could, them? Yeah, would you like to play with them? Or yeah, who would you, yeah, I'd play with them. Oh, brilliant, yeah. yeah. So we could make that happen now, it's been said on the radio, is not it? Well, this, and they're supporting us on the tour. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that probably will happen. So you would play in their band? Uh, and then who would you like to join if you could just who would I want in mind the transfer deadline's approaching Ooh, you've got one person you can bring in just to take on tour with you and now you could choose somebody who's brilliant musically probably or you could like choose somebody uh, for a crack Little Sims yeah in terms of creatively yeah. I know Serge, Serge did a song SLP, with her yeah. but the, the, the last year I've uh, I've listened to her a lot yeah and I really like she's her she's brilliant isn't she yeah. I've never met her but she's badass man yeah, so yeah yeah I'd so she could join our band and then I'd join Buzzard, yeah. Buzzard, Buzzard. <laughs> Well, what a week. Ah, that's a good good game to play. You're going to go and see the SLP, by the way. Go and see Serge on his I am, solo tour. I'm too, going yeah. to go on, uh, on Tuesday. I like his record. Yeah, it's special, well. isn't it? I love that first song that he's got. It's like yeah. instrumental. Radio X.